Hey, welcome back to Score on Business. And we have Donita um, Smith with us still. So we were talking about um, mistakes that businesses make, not that get them in trouble with the IRS, though it might, but what other types of mistakes do you yeah. see? A lot of time, um, business owners are uh, too heavily involved in the detail. They're afraid to outsource some of the major responsibilities. And mm -hmm. I guess when you first start, it's important that you understand all aspects of the business. But when you reach a certain point in your business where you can't be the expert in everything, you can't be the expert in marketing, you can't right. be the expert in legal matters, you can't yeah. be the expert in accounting, you absolutely need to start outsourcing those services. That, I, I couldn't agree more yeah. with that. Yeah. So, when talk about us, uh, talk to us about the type of relationship that professional services firms should have with their clients. Well, I think that it's important that for a small business, you may not necessarily need a full-on team, but you should have the relationship where you can pick up the phone or you're meeting regularly, so you're getting that information on an ongoing basis. So, yeah. really large companies. Each floor you have a different service, whether it's the IT department, whether it's marketing yeah. and advertising or accounting. You really want to make sure that you have a very close relationship and it's such that you're talking so often that if something is coming up in their line of business, they're thinking about you. Yeah. So when I go to CPE and it's a tax training, I'm thinking about all of the clients that will be affected by the things that I'm learning. So then I can reach out and tell them, beware, this is changing, it's yeah. gonna affect your business. Without that relationship, you just become another number, unfortunately. Right, and that, that makes a lot of sense. And, you know, sadly, if, if trouble happens for a business, um, you may be the one who has to help them with that. That, you know, usually trouble yeah. involves money. Yeah. And having that relationship allows you to, to when trouble happens. Absolutely. It yeah. helps with that, I would think. Yeah, I. one of my favorite sayings is education will never be as expensive as ignorance. Oh, yeah. So it definitely will cost you more on the back end than to do it right the first time. Yeah. 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 And I guess, do, do you, as part of what you all do, help folks figure out whether to incorporate and do an LLC versus a... We do, we do. We actually walk through that process. We work with some attorneys that also help with the legal documentation, but right. what usually happens is um, they don't understand the tax implications of the business structure that they choose. So they're right. all treated differently. You all have, you have options in how they can be treated for tax purposes versus operations. And so we kind of work with hopefully a really good attorney who is advising them, or when they come to us on the front end, we mm -hmm. make sure that they invest that time so that they understand all of the differences before they make their choice. So at a, at a high level, I guess the choice is for smaller businesses are going to be an LLC or a subchapter S, right? Yes, or they can choose to continue to be a sole proprietor. Right. Yeah. At a high level, what are some of the benefits of each? The benefits for a very small business owner would be flexibility. Most people think it's protection. If yeah. I if I create an LLC that I'm protected um, nobody can sue me. Yeah. Well, if your operations don't match that, then that's not the case either. And so you have to be careful how you're going to operate. Um, you can also get an umbrella policy that protects you if yeah. you needed it, if that's what you're worried about. Yeah. But if you um, create a, a subchapter S, which is you know um, derivative of a, of a C corp, you still are required to follow those same rules and regulations for a corporation. Mm -hmm. And so many small business owners don't realize the importance of documentation and following rules and regulations and when you make decisions that it should be documented. So um, that can cause you to lose um, some of the protections that you think you have. Right, okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, so when, when, when somebody has a, a CPA or a virtual CFO like you, how, what, are, what, what should they in you know in a in less than a minute? What do you talk about in those meetings? We talk about um, actual operations and the finance. Okay. So I don't usually start with the numbers. I yeah. usually start with what's going on in the business because right. I can actually look at the numbers and tell. I can tell if you've hired an employee. I can tell yeah. if you've purchased. Um, 
some new equipment. I can actually see that with the numbers. That's after the fact. So it's important for me to hear what's going on and hear what your plans are because right. if you share your plans with me, then I'm going to share some things you need to be mindful about, how right. to plan ahead, what the tax implications are, how that should be reported financially. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, Thank you so much for being here, Dimeo. Thank you for having okay, me. It's been such a pleasure. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back next week. See you then. Bye. Thank you. Bye.